Oh my gosh, Sophia. Look at this place. It's even more beautiful than the pictures. I know, right? This view is incredible. I can't believe we're finally here. It's like a postcard. I've always dreamed of staying somewhere like this. Tuscany, here we come. This vacation is going to be epic. We deserve this after all that stress back home. Absolutely. No work, no drama, just us and the Italian countryside. Let's make a pact, we're going to enjoy every single moment of this trip. Deal. First things first, though. Unpack or explore. How about we freshen up and then head out to explore? I saw a cute little cafe on our way here. Yes, I'm dying to try some authentic Italian espresso. And maybe a pastry or two. You read my mind. Let's get changed and head out. Tuscany, here we come. I've been looking for a place that has good bread since I got here. You're not from around here, are you? No, I'm just visiting. Came here for a vacation. Tuscany is so beautiful. It really is. I grew up here, so I might be a little biased, but I think it's one of the best places in the world. Well, I can see why. The scenery, the food, the people, everything is amazing. Have you tried any of the local specialties yet? A few things, but I'm still exploring. Any recommendations? Definitely try the ribolita if you get a chance. It's a Tuscan bread soup, very hearty and perfect for the cooler evenings. Ribolita, got it. Thanks for the tip. I'm Luca, by the way. Sophia, nice to meet you, Luca. Nice to meet you too, Sophia. If you need any more recommendations or just want a local's perspective, feel free to ask. I might just take you up on that. Thanks, Luca. Do you need a ride back? I have my car here, and I'd be happy to give you a lift. Oh, that's really nice of you, but I don't want to trouble you. It's no trouble at all. I'd feel better knowing you got back safely. Plus, I can point out some places you might want to visit. Well, if you're sure it's not an inconvenience. I'm sure. Come on, my car is just outside. You've been grinning ever since you got back from the grocery store. Care to share? I met this guy named Luca. Luca, tell me more. Well, he gave me a ride back. He was just so cool. Handsome and really kind to me. Hmm, really? Sounds like someone has already fallen for the charm of Tuscany. I don't know. I mean, we had a great conversation, but he's a local and I'm just a tourist. Plus, I have my life back in New York. You never know what could happen, so. Sometimes, the best adventures come when you least expect them. Who knows? Maybe you'll run into him again, and discover there's more to Luca than meets the eye. Maybe. I guess I'll just have to wait and see what the universe has in store for me. Just promise me. You won't spend the rest of our trip daydreaming about Luca instead of exploring Tuscany. Don't worry. I'll make the most of every moment. Luca or no Luca. Sophia. What a beauty. How is it possible to feel so drawn to someone you barely even know? What's wrong with me? I mean, I just met her today.
I'm so glad you're loving it here. And hey, a change of scenery is just what you needed after everything with Steven. Yeah, about that. It's been tough. Really tough. Breaking up with him was the right thing. But it still hurts, you know. I know, Sophia, but you're strong, and you deserve so much better. And who knows? Maybe this trip will help you heal and rediscover yourself. Thanks, Sarah. I hope you're right. I'm always right. So, enough about boys. Let's talk about something more exciting. Your photography career. How's it going? It's been good actually. I've been experimenting with some new techniques, and I even got a few of my photos featured in a local gallery back home. Sarah, that's amazing. I always knew you had talent. You should consider doing a photography series on Tuscany, while you're here. I'm sure the landscapes would make for some stunning shots. Sophia, that's a great idea. I'll definitely have to take advantage of this beautiful scenery. I forgot to tell you. What? Edward's flight arrived two hours ago. So, he should be here any moment. That's amazing. So I guess I'll be sleeping outside tonight. Oh, hi there. Oh, it's you. Sophia, right. That's me. I'm shocked you remembered my name. I didn't realize you worked here. I own the place. As a matter of fact, it keeps me busy. That's nice. Hope you enjoyed your meal. It was delicious, thank you. Your pasta dish was amazing. Glad to hear you enjoyed it. So, are you a tourist or something? Yeah, I'm here on vacation with a friend. Let me guess. Your boyfriend. No, I'm here with my bestie, Sarah. She's seated over there. It was wonderful meeting you again. Oh, same here. Enjoy your stay in Tuscany. Thanks, Luca. And by the way, you have a really nice place here. Thanks, Sophia. It means a lot coming from you. Okay, spill it, Sophia. What's got you blushing like a schoolgirl? Oh, nothing. I know, it's definitely Luca. Yeah, but it's not like I'm looking for anything serious. I just enjoyed the moment, you know. Aha, uh -huh, sure, Sophia. Just enjoying the moment with Mr. Tall, Dark, and Italian. I see how it is. Sarah, stop it. It's not like that. Besides, I just got out of a messy breakup with Steven, remember? I'm not ready to dive into anything new just yet. Oh, come on, Sophia. Life's too short to dwell on the past. And speaking of the present, can we talk about how amazing Luca's restaurant is? I mean, that pasta dish we had was to die for. Yeah, it was pretty incredible. So, when are we going back? Maybe Luca will be there again, and you can have another nice encounter. I wouldn't mind going back for more of that pasta. Yo, Fina, what are you doing here? Luca, I needed to see you. Can we talk? I don't know if that's such a good idea. Fina, it's been a long time. I really need to get something off my chest. Fine, you have five minutes. What is it? Can we sit?
Edward, are you even paying any attention to me? What? Oh. Sorry babe, I'm just really into this movie. Yeah, I can see that. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here twiddling my thumbs. Bored out of my mind. Sorry babe, I didn't realize you were so bored. It's not just tonight, Edward. It feels like you're always so focused on yourself, on what you want to do. Without even considering how I feel. What do you mean? I try to make time for us. Like last weekend when you ditched our dinner plans to hang out with your buddies. Or when you forgot our anniversary because you were too busy with work. Okay, okay, I get it. I messed up. I'm sorry babe. I'm listening. Luca, I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry for keeping things from you. I never should have gone behind your back. You mean like when you secretly aborted our baby without telling me? I know, and I regret it every day. I was scared and didn't know how to handle it, but I never stopped loving you. Love isn't enough, Fina. You betrayed my trust in the worst possible way. Please, Luca, give me another chance. I'll do whatever it takes to make things right. Fina, it's too late for that. I can't just forget everything that happened. I still love you, can't you see? Stop, this isn't right. I loved you once, but it's time for both of us to move on. Please, babe, we've come a long way. We can't just break up like that. I think it's time for you to leave. No, Edward, you don't get it. I'm tired of feeling like I come second in everything else in your life. Maybe it's time we take a break. What, Sarah? Come on, don't do this. I'm serious, Edward. I need some time to figure things out. We'll talk about this later. For now, it's time for you to go. Fine, whatever. Can I at least finish my popcorn? Tuscany is absolutely stunning. The architecture, the culture, the food, it's like something out of a dream. It hurts that we have limited time to spend here. Yeah, it's a really beautiful place. What's going on with you? Can I talk to you about something? Of course, Sarah. What's on your mind? It's Edward. We've been having some issues lately. I don't know if we can work through them. What kind of issues? He's been so focused on his own stuff lately, like his job and his hobbies, that he hardly has time for me anymore. I feel like I'm always coming second to everything else in his life. Have you talked to him about how you're feeling? Yeah, but it's like he doesn't really listen. I don't know if he even cares anymore. Relationships have their ups and downs. Maybe Edward just needs a gentle reminder of what's important to him. Have you considered giving it some time, seeing if things improve? I guess you're right. Maybe I've been too quick to jump to conclusions. Thank you. Hey, speaking of spending time together, what do you say we go see that movie at the theater later? It'll be a nice distraction from all this relationship drama. That sounds like a great idea. Let's make it a girl's night out. I've been dying to see this movie. Definitely. I heard it's a real tearjerker. Sarah, look, it's Luca. He's right there in the front row. Ah, the plot thickens. So, Sophia, care to share why you're suddenly so interested in this movie? Stop it, Sarah. It's just a coincidence that he's here. Oh, come on, 
Sophia, don't play coy, we both know you've got a little crush on him. Sarah, stop it, it's not like that, this isn't some cheesy rom-com where the hero and heroine fall in love. True, but you have to admit, Luca is pretty sexy. And he's sitting right there, practically begging for you to go talk to him. I don't know Sarah, what if he's married or something? I don't want to make a fool of myself. Hey, you won't know until you try. Right, besides, a little harmless flirting never hurt anyone. Go on, Sophia, seize the moment. Okay, fine, but just so we're clear, it's just a tiny crush. Nothing serious. I'll wait until after the movie. Then I'll go say hi to Luca. Deal, deal, but don't wait too long, or someone else might beat you to it. Sophia, hi. Hi, Luca. Fancy meeting you here. Yeah, I was really dying to see that movie. Same here, it's a wonderful piece. I agree. Babe, I've been looking everywhere for you. I didn't know you were here. Babe, who's she? Sophia, please meet Fina. Fina, this is Sophia. It's a pleasure meeting you. Yeah. Babe, I guess it's time for us to go. The movie was terrible anyway. Have fun Sapphire. It's Sophia. Whatever. Fina, that's enough. But I haven't done anything. Enjoy your night Luca. See you some other time. Bye.